Thank you for staying with us. I'm Ann McCloy. And I'm Cody Holyoke. A picture published in the Gilderland School Yearbook is stirring controversy among students, parents, and animal rights activists. It shows a student with a gun posing with a dead giraffe. Kimberly Howard live outside Gilderland High School with this one. And Kimberly, the superintendent admits to us the picture shouldn't have even made it to print. That's right, Ann and Cody. And because it did make it to print, the district is now putting stricter policies in place. Flip through any high school yearbook and you'll see a collage of memories, pictures, inspirational quotes. In the Gilderland High School yearbook, there's also a section called Senior Ads. Families have the um, opportunity to purchase an ad and they generally include a photo and a quote or a message. Um, and it's usually a surprise to the students. This senior ad was a surprise to several students. It shows a graduating senior with a hunting weapon posing with a dead giraffe. The caption reads, a hunt based only on the trophies taken falls far short of what the ultimate goal should be. Was it appropriate for this to be in the yearbook? Well, I think had another set of eyes looked at it and anticipated that it could be a controversial topic, it would not have been put in. Goodland School Superintendent Dr. Marie Wiles says the student yearbook editors and a few faculty members reviewed the picture before it went to print, but going forward, the district will have to strengthen its yearbook policy. Everything that happens is a learning experience. We'll have another set of eyes look at the submissions. The district says pictures will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis, but in general, pictures that show firearms or dead animals will not be permitted. I don't even know why it's an issue. Some parents don't understand all the hype. It doesn't bother me. I'm not a hunter, but whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. And these Gitterland students say because of the hype, their classmate is taking a lot of heat. I just feel really bad for him because he has a good kid. Everything he did was legal, like he didn't do anything wrong, so it just got really blown out of proportion. Now, we did reach out to the family as well to hear their side of the story firsthand, but at this point, we haven't heard back. Live in Gilderland, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.